Hey everybody, it's Dr. Quad. The doctor is in. We're back with Wastelands 3. Let's continue. Yeah, so so far we had, hopefully you're doing well. And taking care of yourself, socially distant, get ready for either school or college if it hasn't started yet. Or enjoying your kids being at school or college if you're, you know, have kids and you're older and watching this. Um, didn't know what to expect. I, you know, I kind of knew it was turn-based combat. I knew it was futuristic. I did not play Wastelands 1 or 2. But yeah, that first episode was really entertaining. We had a couple of battles. Leveled up our characters. Can't wait to get more. And then, alright, we gotta check out... This one's got an injured wrist. I don't know how to fix that. Um... Hmm. Non-skill perks. If anyone asks you how to steal your stuff, it's maybe better if you don't tell them. You eat bullets for breakfast. Take care of your body and your body will take care of you. Quick reflexes. And he's weathered. Oh, cool. I get it. Alright, so automatic weapons. Enemies have 25% less benefit cover when attacking them. Fires an assault rifle attack that punctures through multiple enemies, hitting anyone in its path. Ooh. This one's spray and pray. Tears up an enemy with twice as many SMG bullets than normal attack by minus 25% chance to hit. What's level 10? Killing an enemy with an automatic weapon is plus 3 AP. EP once per turn. Attack a target twice in a row with an arm. I thought right for a second, it's always a critical hit. Using healing almost also is the target max combo. Plus 25. Weapon modding. That's cool. There's the map. Reservoir trail. Reservoir campgrounds. Am access. Permission log. Reputation, fame. The more you impact lives of the people of Colorado, the more locals will recognize you as your fame grows. More folks will sign up to become rangers, filling out with the ranks of guards and staffers at Ranger HQ. All right, so how do we fix her? Um, your wrist is twisted. Can only be removed by an injury kit or a doctor with an NPC. All right, we've got to fix that. Um, Injury cut, that's a med pack. Oh, we have an injury kit. Oh, she could just use it on herself.
All right, who said you have a broken wrist? A twisted wrist. We got some kind of cat thing up there. What's in here? Medical crate, let's check it out. The med pack. Bug stash. Brain candy. A syringe with some irrigant liquid or may or may not be literal candy or liquid brains. Or literal liquid candy or liquid brains. Can to improve your intellects. Plus 15 strike charge rate for 36 turns, but some rights for 10% evasion. Yeesh. Break the price to pay. that thing? Major Tomcat. Perception. As you get close, you see that the cat has a dog tag rather than a collar, which is embossed with the name Tom. Come on, cat will catch you. Definitely lines up to jump in your arms and then puts back down. Meow. Meow. All right. All right, we got another rocket. Now, I didn't want someone to take that bazooka because, kind of like XCOM, you know, I want someone else to be the heavy. So I think it's someone else. Loot these people before we leave. Glass nut. It's a brawling weapon. Let's travel to Colorado Springs. Oh, I guess we should have just ended it there. We found the Kodiak. There are rooms on Ranger HQ that no one knows how to enter. So I'm curious if it'll be like XCOM where you take different squads out for missions or not. But yeah, like XCOM, I wanted somebody to be the heavy. So I wanted to save that like bazooka for them. A rocket launcher, whatever that was. Instead of using up some of the abilities for one of the other characters. For, um, you know, assault. One's got, one's the assault class, the other one's a sniper. I have a couple, I have a couple medic skills, just in case. Because I know you have, can have up to um, six characters in your party. I don't know if you control more than that or not. All right, well, we got to pull up our big boy pants now. Welcome, Rangers. You may approach the Patriot. Two, when there were fifty. Cold logic says I should turn you away. That there aren't enough of you left to do the job at hand. But that Dorsey ambush was my fault. And I owe you more than explanations and apologies. So... Here's something more tangible. The Dorseys didn't just attack you. They attacked my city. This one was trying to burn down our jail. If you want some vengeance for what was done to you, 
He's yours. He's your prisoner. You can have the honors. If you insist. Oh my god, what a club. Thank you. It's been too long since I've dealt with my problems firsthand. You know the thud of that thing? Like a sledgehammer. I'd like to do the same to all the Dorseys. And maybe, with your help, I will. But for now, let me address your immediate needs. In addition to this base and the aid I promised your general, I'll be giving you the resources to return your force to full strength. Recruiting, training, and equipping. It's not enough. I know. The men and women you lost can never be replaced, but it's what I can give you. I hope you'll accept it. We have nerve damage, our hands are shaking. Thank you, Patriarch. We have we appreciate anything you do for us. All we want is to complete our vengeance on the Dorsey's. My hands don't shake. There's nothing wrong with me. And if you say there is, you'll be going back to Arizona empty-handed. Understood? Now quit asking about things that aren't your concern and answer the question. Will you accept my offer? Um, thank you, Patriarch. We appreciate it. Yeah. I'm glad to find you so amenable. I hope that means we're going to get along. Now, <sighs> introductions. Oh my god, it's My a name flag. is Saul Buchanan. I own Colorado. Though you'll meet some who disagree. <laughs> this base is your new home. From here, you'll aid my people and, more importantly, do the job I brought you here to do. Now... Yes, Joe? Pardon, Patriarch. It's Daisy. An update on the Garden of the Gods? All right. Sorry, Rangers. Still putting out fires. Two of my best are waiting for you inside. Darius Kwan of the Marshals and my old friend Sergei Gretzky. Go see him. I'll be in when I'm done here. The dude had a frickin' club made out of an American flag. It was crazy. No sudden moves around the Patriarch. No. Pleased to meet you, Rangers. Don't let me hold you up. You have business in your new headquarters. Welcome, Rangers. I'm Marshal Darius Kwan, and this here's Sergei Gretzky. Good to meet you, Rangers. Glad to see some friendly faces. Been rough around here these last few days. Dorsey's attacked us, too. Snuck inside Colorado Springs and killed a lot of people. Situation's under control now. Mostly. No idea! Something must have triggered the old security system. Trouble is, there's a bunch of angry robots guarding the computer that shuts them off. How you deal with them is your call. Your base. Your rules. Yeah, weird, huh? They weren't active when we looked the place over a few days back, but... Ugh. Let's talk after you kill the alarms. I can hardly hear myself think. Into the war room and wake the base's main systems. Alright.
Please, my service would like to be on guard this entire time. Oh Christ. That enemy has armor, which means it can block some of your incoming damage. Fortunately, all the weapons have a penetration staff. Your weapon's penetration is equal to bring your enemy's armor that your weapon will deal full damage. Your weapon's penetration is less than the target's armor, you'll do a proportionate amount of damage, but no more than 8% examples, penetration is 15 versus armor 10, 100% damage, penetration 5 versus armor 10 equals 50. Damage 9 versus 10 is 80%. Gotcha. What is my penetration? I don't know. Oh, 6. Gotcha. Oh, um... Let's have her go first. Thirty nine, thirty three. All right, this guy's, ugh. Oh, you didn't go down? Alright, come on, don't let us down. Are you kidding me? Oh, this dude's dead. Shoot. 
How much ammo she got left? Two shots? Oh, she got her ability. CPU. Welcome to the inventory screen. We were been in here before. From here, you'll be able to get all the items you're carrying to view their stats and information, equip them to characters, and more. There are no limits to the number of items you can carry at once. It's nice. To view your character's stats, you can press Y while in the inventory screen. Stats are primarily determined by attributes, but certain skills, your equipment, and any active stats effects will influence them as well. Any weapon can be broken down into spare parts by field stripping it. If you have a very low barter skill, you can sometimes get a better price for merchants for the parts than the weapon itself. From the scrounger's touch perk, field stripping also has a chance of getting your weapon mods. Alright, it's up to... All right. Okay. Um. How do you field strip it? Oh, something happened. That guy. Oh, here we go. Drones a plastic holographic cover featuring a jet that banks and turns depending on the angle you look at. On the inside of the cover is written Journal of Pally Blau. Aquanet. cells. Blasters and death rays, huh? Large container for loot. Got grenades. Monkey wrench. Leg armor. A weapon mod. Simple gets his right playing on a tube before. In the wasteland, you find both weapon and armor mods. Installing a mod will improve any equipment it's attached to. 
Once installed, they cannot be removed. To install and mod one of your squad members must have that set. Weapon modding or armor modding skill level. Gotcha. To install a weapon or armor mod, select the weapon or armor you want to upgrade and choose the modify to under it. Different mods require different armor or weapon modding skill. But the mod, the harder it is to install. Um. Nice. Wait, what did that do to change it? Right now it's thirty five to forty nine. Oh, it just changes the range. One up. This terminal is dusty and old, but when you press the power button, it flickers a life. Peter beeps and whirs for the first time in years. The boots up security alert flashes across the display. Every attempt to access the menu is met with command access only. Eventually, query the machine for command's identity. Applies command empty. Designate new command. Install your service command. Camera flashes above the monitor, and terrible photos of your faces slowly appear, screen line by line. Command recognized. Security alert canceled. Nice. Got an achievement for that. Well done, Ranger. Good to see the place up and running. Look at that axe, man. Now, where were we? Oh, yes. The reason you're here. As you may know, I have a daughter and two sons. Liberty, Valor, and Victory. Two of them conspired against me, and the third blackens the Buchanan name with every breath he takes. Consequently, I banished him. They've been skulking in the shadows ever since, but lately there's been rumors that I'm on my last legs. Lies, of course, but apparently my dear children believe them, and they've started making new plans. Protection? You think I need protection? Stop trying to be smart and listen. I'm not worried about my children defeating me, Rangers. They won't. Not even Liberty. What worries me is the destruction they'll wreak as they fail. They'll tear my land and my people to shreds. They'll burn everything I've accomplished to ash. That's why they have to be stopped before they can start. That's why you, Rangers, have to find them and bring them home to me ASAP. And when I say bring them home, I mean bring them home alive. They're my blood. Kill them and we'll have a problem. Do I make myself clear? You've already done the impossible by making it here. I trust you. Find a way to make it possible. Now, let me tell you where they are. Victories hold up in Aspen. Valor's under the protection of the Gippers in Denver. And Liberty's raising an army against me somewhere out on the Eastern Plains. Anything else you need to know? Um... More background. What do you want to know? One thing, you must have plenty of competent people in Colorado while I discuss. You know about Victory, what kind of man is Valor? Hmm. Boy's never been right in the head. 
Since he was a baby, he'd torture cats, terrorize the servants, set the house on fire, and he's only got worse. The things he's done to the women he finds. Anyway, I finally had enough and put the little monster under house arrest up in Aspen. I guess they weren't prepared because he escaped a while ago and then came back with a gang of freaks and turned the place into a slaughterhouse. Now he's on the radio, laughing about what he's gonna do to his hostages and daring me to come after him. He, uh, claims he's captured some rangers as well. Don't get your hopes up. Vic likes to play with hostages. Might not be much left by the time you find them. What kind of man is Valor? <sighs> Soft, spoiled, fiddled with computers all day instead of learning the arts of diplomacy and war. Finally packed him off when he accidentally crashed my security systems right before his sister's little coup attempt. Made him my official ambassador to the Gippers, hoping he'd do to their systems what he'd done to mine. That was a mistake. He took his revenge by convincing him to cut off oil shipments to my city. No oil means no heat, no light, and no food for my people. So getting Valor back and resuming oil shipments from the Gippers has to happen now. The Valor is in danger. No, but the Gippers are tough and well armed. And Denver's a death trap. Tell us about Liberty. Liberty's got more brains and cunning than both her brothers put together. She's the only one who could actually run Colorado. Problem is, she'd run it as a goddamn slave state. Everyone in chains. Everyone working for her. Wouldn't worry about her for now, though. Best to wait until you got a little more firepower. She's gonna be well protected. You're expecting her to try to usurp you? <sighs> She's already tried once. Got all the way to the palace steps before we chased her off. She's been licking her wounds out east ever since. Why ask us? Divided loyalty, that's why. I trust my guards, but they don't leave my side. Ever. Everybody else... Everybody else is making plans for when I'm gone. The Hundred Families, the Gippers, the Marshals, they're all out for themselves. And they know my kids would make good figureheads, give them some legitimacy. Any Coloradan I send to bring Vic, Val, and Libby back home might think they'll get a better deal elsewhere. But not you. I'm the only one who can save your people. Nobody else can get supplies to Arizona before they starve to death. That's why it's you who's doing this. You've got the only loyalty that works. The loyalty of self-interest. Thanks for the info. We'll do our best with them. You'd better. Anything else? We have a few things we'd like to ask about. The Dorseys and the Ambush. Uh huh. Who are the Dorseys? The last dregs of a treacherous family. Thought I'd wipe them out years ago, but... <sighs> Mistakes linger, Rangers. I know that better than most. Think Vic Val or Liberty were behind the attack on our convoy? Possibly. But I know the Dorseys from the old days. They don't take orders well. Then again, I wouldn't have guessed they'd have the guts to attack both you and Colorado Springs at the same time. So somebody put some fire in them. I'd say the ambush was your fault. Good. What else do you need? Oh, thanks for the briefing. Of course. 
Now, if you want a chance to impress me and maybe get a little payback, that call I got outside was from Sheriff Daisy, the head of the marshals in Colorado Springs. She's having trouble rousting some Dorseys who have been holed up in the Garden of the Gods since their raid fell apart. Why don't you go give her a hand? Show us what the Rangers can do. That's what I like to hear. I expect great things from you, Rangers. Do good work. All right, let's move out. All right. You, oh, there's a deal. Look at that. You can even hear the sound of the snow. Read the mission log. Start by opening your inventory with the button. Alright, so if you have a new mission, review its details, navigate to the mission log by using the left trigger and right trigger. Wait, well, increasing attributes. Turn level 3, your angels earn one more attribute point per level. Attributes are always cost one point upgrade. Attributes are the source of all your vital stats. Want to live longer, run faster. Shoot straight or hit harder, there's an attribute for that. Um. In range damage right there. I take that. Leaving this screen will confirm any pending attribute points have a look to which continue, yes. Skill points, got some more skill points. Points to upgrade. All right, we got to do sniper rifles. Hit chance. You're a surgeon or sniper rifle is your instrument. Oh, we gotta take it. Let me see the perks. Marked or use enemies evasion by minus fifty percent. Mark targets all take plus fifty damage from precision strike. You're a surgeon or sniper rifle is your instrument. Precision strikes with sniper rifles. Giving the higher chance of inflicting critical. I'll become about just one action. Wait for your moment and make a count. With 10% hit chance when using a sniper rifle, you don't move for one turn. Ambush attacks with sniper rifles that kill your target. Don't end the ambush, okay? This guy's got some too. Alright, we got coordination, luck, awareness, strength, speed, intelligence. Charisma strike rate, leadership range. Hmm, coordination. Mm 
Yeah, let's give him one. Yep, we got him allocated. Skills, automatic weapons. First aid, hard ass, weapon modding. All right, we'll save that last one. Pray and pray. Who's good with an auto rifle and field stripping now is a chance of providing weapon mods. We're in the war room, Kodiak. Right, mission log. Primary missions progress the main story. Secondary missions are optional side quests. You've just received the primary mission. Cornered rats. Your next step should be paying a visit to Sheriff Daisy in downtown Colorado Spring. It's a reputation. Reputation tracks how your actions have affected each faction's opinion of the Rangers. Police force led by Sheriff Daisy and Marshals informs the Patriarch's laws in Colorado Springs and witness. Alright. What was that? Oh, we can't go that way. Rangers, come talk to me when you've got a moment. I want to discuss staffing and recruiting, that kind of thing. Good job, Rangers. Nice to be able to hear ourselves think again. And now that it's quiet enough to talk, let me reintroduce you to the great Sergei Gretzky, who's going to be helping you with personnel. Hi again, Rangers. Damn sorry about your people. But now that you're here, we'll do what we can to get you back on your feet and find you some new recruits, just like the Patriarch promised you. And I already got you one of the best. Meet Marcelo Gonzalez. Electronics wizard, radio technician, and former dispatcher for the marshals. He'll be your radio operator. Howdy, Rangers. Uh, while you were dealing with the alarms, I took the liberty of installing a combat AI in your vehicle. Should help you out. If you want to chat, I'll be in the operations room getting things up and running. Should be more recruits arriving soon. Ready to tell me how you want to fill out your squad? Reach Sergeant Gretzky to hire new rangers for your squad. Your squad can have up to six members. No more than four can be rangers. The two slots may be filled by companions such as Marshal Kwan. Companions are unique NPCs who aren't officially rangers. We want to help out all the same. There are plenty of companions in a journey throughout Colorado. Of course. Ask away. Gonzalez? He's a whiz with stuff like that. The AI will allow you to give the vehicle orders in combat without having to be inside it. Basically, it'll become another member of your squad. Okay, what's next? My advice is to put together a squad with complementary skills. Nobody can be great at everything. So, pick recruits who are good at things your current team isn't. And you can always round out your squad with folks you meet along the way. Keep that in mind when you're choosing from the recruits I've rounded up. Peace.
Mechanics and weapon armor, we got all that. Black Eye Betty. Small arms, toaster repair, and weird science. Big guns, first aid, and explosive. Devlin, I'm like weapons, I don't know anywhere. Explosive, big guns, and armor modding. It could be thunder. We'll take thunder. Oh, we take one more. Then we'll take uh, Professor Higgs. Elemental weapons ignore energy. Ignore enemy armor entirely. The four elemental damage types are energy, fire, cold, and damage. Enemies are often weak to some elemental damage types and resistant to others. Listen, I can get you all the fighting troops you need. But if you meet any talented people in your travels, don't hesitate to sign them up. Now that we've got that sorted... Let's talk about the next steps. Now you're the boss here, so I'm not going to tell you what to do, but getting this place up and running wouldn't be a bad place to start. That means surveying the base and finding specialists to staff it. Well, I can take care of the rank and file, but you're going to want mechanics, medics, an armory officer, that sort of thing. A competent staff is important when the going gets tough. Helping Sheriff Daisy could be a first step. If you impress her, maybe she'll hook you up with some specialist for the base. Meanwhile, I'll start cleaning up here. Take a look around before you go. See if you want to keep any of this junk before we dump it all. Anyway, your call. Colorado Springs is straight out the main gate. If you want to go to Denver or Aspen, just hop back in your car and go out the way you came in. Uh, one sec. Forgive me for saying so, but I'm guessing you folks are gonna need as much help in the field as you will here in HQ. So, what if I joined your squad? At least until you find your feet. Great. I'm at your disposal. Lead the way. Your first companion. Companions are a unique kind of squad member, unlike the rangers you create. Companions are pre-made characters that have their own personality agenda. Piss them off, they can leave you high and dry. If you have six characters to squad up to two, four of them can be ranger recruits, leaving at least two spots open for companions. Pretty grand in here. Maybe you can make it your trophy hall or museum or something. Or a handball port. Uh oh, they have us at a disadvantage. This weapon and each ranger in your squad has a chance to take the first combat turn. Higher initiative style, increasing that chance. To get a higher initiative, increase your speed attribute and get a sneaky ship skill. Um, all right. A razor back.
Where's the abilities? Ah, oh, damn it, he's poison. Ooh, there's a bunch. What, he can hit over the counter? Oh, man. Alright, so Ghost Rider. Valkyrie. That one's dead. All right, who's this? Thunder. Got twenty one left. How many times you got to miss? Oh, my God, are you kidding me? Vacation. We got an, an enemy with energy damage. Nerd stuff. You just die. Oh, let's figure out these dudes.
Skills explosives. Um, I'll do that. Armor modding. Big guns. Hmm. Plus five combat speed on the first turn of combat while using big guns. Heavy MG attack that consumes twice as many bullets. Enemies in the air take minor damage and are suppressed. What's wrong with this guy? What do we find out what that means? It's not attributes. We want to ask where to store stuff. If you see an unprotected spot, put a hole in it, make them pick between fighting and stopping all the blood. There's a shotgun shell that inflicts bleeding. Robots Yak will now be attacked by other enemies. Charge your weapon and pirate to deal bonus energy cold or damage on its next attack. 5% chance of blowing up in your face. Alright, cool. this guy's perks. Oh, he needs a stem. I don't want to use that, but... Power button the machine resists your press to immediately rust it in place that makes a substantial crunch. Finally gives away the screen comes to life with a sad beep. Raid failure, corruption detected across multiple sectors, initiating automatic repair operations, recovery complete. Review recover logs. Your logs and you expect for a base of the size, many have suffered data. Corruption are unrecoverable, but we find a few that are legible. Personnel log, Colonel Forchette. The world ended yesterday. Our missile defense system safe Colorado Springs, but Denver is gone and we can't make contact. 
Anyone outside the state. This plan will keep my men in line, but we've only got a few days until civilians panic. We need to prepare to hold out until we can reconnect with Washington. Nerd stuff. Try to recover some of the logs. Well, log. You fixed his gaze on the monitor. Fingers definitely topping the keys. Only covering his tracks as you pull the data from the system. Turn on more. Epstein Lagans is back in a minute. Not sure why his steely blue eyes as she watched the doorway. Regards, have you found the evidence yet, Captain Halcom? We don't have much time left. Captain had a few more keys. Now he pulled the floppy disk from the drive and signaled to the lieutenant quickly back to the vent. He's first, he said, hoping Lieutenant Moore would up to the ceiling ducts despite her generous curve. She nimbly slid into the duct. Captain Holcomb was easily able to pull himself up and net follow her, letting the grate back into place just as the guards swung by on their patrol. Security logs. Filtering tools help you call the routine and hold the corrupted reports. You may need a mute expert to access some of the files. 4001, classified information purge initiated. 4002, erasure complete. Command cleared, fully autonomous security system. Activated in T minus 30 minutes. 4003, intrusive movement detected on outer perimeter monitoring. Choose retreat without engagement monitoring. 015, intrusive movement detected. Quadrupedal creature identified as not hostile. Reach remains. Reach departs. Well, that must be today. Container creepy dolls. Not a creepy doll. Creepy dolls are dolls that are creepy, but they also get powerful party-wide bonuses. Simply collect them will benefit you for the rest of the game. Creepy dolls aren't found in your inventory. Instead, they find them as well as any undiscovered cassette tapes and tutorials in your archive menu. Close your archive menu by selecting the pause menu. Radical Michelle, or Radical Rachel. I'd like to see the whole world burn afterwards. It's her own turn. Grants bonus to all squad members. Explosive damage. Bonus plus 5%.
Got some ammo, money. Up the steps. More loot. Energy cells and shotgun shells. Alright, so we kind of purged the base, began some new members. Why don't we end the episode here? If you like the video, hit like. If not, dislike. Perfectly fine. Subscribe if you want some more. It's Dr. Klotz and the Doctor's out. Be safe.